All right, today is the top fails, all of our failures, all of our mistakes using BRS Pharma two part. Uh, learn from our mistakes so you don't have to. All right, so number one here, uh, trace elements, AKC, what is it? Yeah, there was a lot of calls for BRS Pharma with uh, trace elements, so we did the Tropic Marin approach, add A, K, and C, so don't make the mistake of overlooking adding trace elements to your bulk pharma. There's a solution out there, it's AKC. It's probably the number one like requested thing over the last decade of, uh, how do you put trace elements in there? And this yep. has largely been about having the highest quality raw materials, also like uh, amongst the lowest price. But now you can add in the trace elements. So there's a whole video on uh, the AKC BRS uh, um, uh, Tropic Marine hybrid method. So go check it out. Number two, this has been the uh, actually the answer to some of the more complex questions that uh, I've got on the phone before. Yeah, so the mistake is making magnesium, making calcium, getting the sw jug switched up, and now you don't know which one is which. So this is the answer to, I'm just dumping in calcium all the time and it doesn't go up. My alkalinity is fine, but why can't I get any calcium? The jug, I don't know what it's doing. You know what? They look identical. Magnesium's through the roof. Yeah, so you probably didn't test magnesium, but they look identical. They're a little tiny, like sugar-like crystalline mm -hmm. structure. Mm -hmm. I grabbed the wrong bag, I put it in the wrong jug. So making that mistake. If you're adding it and it's not doing anything, you might have the wrong chemical inside the jug. All right, so number three, uh, I'm tired of measuring. I, like, I want to do grams, I want to do measurements. <laughs> I just want to know I got the right amount. I just don't want to think about it. Yeah, mistaking is overlooking these pouches. I wish these were, I wish we had these when I was using two-part at home because it's so much easier to rip open a pouch, make us gallon a solution, and I'm done. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit more expensive to do it this way, but the satisfaction of tearing it off, dumping it in, and being done is uh, quite nice. Uh, I don't have to get all the measuring tools out. It's a different tool for a different job for different people, but uh, you know what? It's a lot easier. Number four, it's a little bit more advanced, but it is one of the unique values of the BRS2 part. Yeah, so don't overlook the value of pH increases when you're dosing your two parts, specifically the soda ash. You know, over time, it can just add that little extra buffer you need. Yeah, so I mean, we watched all the videos. We now know, you know how important pH is and how it can increase growth rapidly. It's better for the corals. We're finding like, you know, ocean acidification mm -hmm. effects, but we're doing it in our own tank. We understand that a lot better now, but how do we solve that? And one of the things is most of the retail two parts out there, you know, kind of have to understand that there isn't a, a tremendous amount of guidance in how to use them. Mm -hmm. They're just, you know, pick them up off the shelf. And so they can't have a really big pH increase because if somebody overused it, they would skyrocket. Yeah. In our case, you're probably watching all these videos, you're watching the instructions, there's tons and tons of guidance on how to use it. Dose it slow, but if you do that, you get all the benefits of increasing the pH when you use a soda ash based two part. Number five, you can actually kind of ruin the material over time. Yeah, so don't make the mistake of leaving these uh, resealable pouches open and they're resealable for a purpose, especially like this magnesium that just like draws, it's like a desiccant, draws in moisture around it, uh, turns it into a big giant lump. Yeah, so uh, people ask how long can you store it? It's almost indefinitely as long as you keep it closed. The only thing that will happen to it is it'll suck moisture out of the air, sometimes get a little slushy, sometimes turn it into a rock. Mm. But close it and you just won't have that problem. All right, so number six, uh, pretty common actually. We keep you know, kind of like getting information about this one in the air because a lot of people don't get this one. Yeah, there's two types of magnesium mixes, so don't make the mistake of not understanding which one is which and when, when to use it. There's the magnesium mix specifically for two-part maintenance, and there's magnesium mix for general maintenance. Yeah, so it's just a different ratio of magnesium sulfate, magnesium chloride. And to be honest, if you got the one wrong, it wouldn't really matter, except for like after years of use. Yeah. You know, so, but get the right tool for the right job and you don't have to worry about it. So there's one that's clearly labeled maintenance for two part. Well, that is for the two part here. If you have one that's just general maintenance, that means you're using somebody else's two part or you're just making big adjustments all at once. Mm -hmm. So general maintenance means general and two part means designed as part of this system. Number seven, there's so many questions, so many answers. <laughs> yeah, so the mistake here is not understanding what a gallon is. So a lot of times people are like, well, I have a whole gallon of water and then I mix my pouch. When actually there's some displacement at play here, it's a gallon of solution, not just a gallon of water. Yeah, so a gallon of water is about 16 cups and one of these pouches has around two cups in it. 
So that would actually be 18 cups and no longer a gallon of water anymore. Yeah. Uh, so you just want to fill this thing up about three-fourths of the way, add the uh, powder to it, and then add enough water to make a gallon of solution. All right, so number eight, there is a fail here, but it's really not that big a deal. Yeah, so I've made this mistake, and many, uh, many reefers do also, and that is trying to get the exact gallon amount into the calculator. So I'm, I'm, I have a 100-gallon tank, I've got some sump, I've got some rock, I've got some sand, I've got all of this. How many gallons is that, and what if I'm off by like five or 10? So, you know, you're trying to figure out your dose. I'm at 400, I'm looking mm -hmm. to go to 420, I need to tell it the size of my tank. And, you know, here's the thing is, uh, you don't have to be that close. If Even if you're like really bad at this, you're probably gonna guess about within 10%. And so, what if my dose is off a terrible 10%? Uh, that means I'm gonna hit, uh, instead of going from 400 to 420, I'm gonna go to 422. Yeah. Nobody cares. <laughs> so you're not even capable of picking that up in your test kit. So uh, don't get really hung up on total system water volume. The only goal here is to get close. All right, so number nine, I've made clumps in the bottom here. There's a solution to just avoid that. Yeah, so the mistake here revolves around mixing like soda ash and not doing it in an open cut top container. These jugs are really handy because I can mix them up and dose straight for them, from them. Mm -hmm. But if I have an open top container, I can start mixing the water while I add and it just makes the process a heck of a lot easier. So the nature of if you put a funnel in here and pour it in, it kind of clumps up at the bottom, mm. then you have to get the clumps to dissolve. However, if I use like, like a kitchen pitcher and I just you know, stir it up with a plastic spoon and pour it in, it dissolves instantly and I just pour it into the funnel on yeah. the top. One step that actually makes it really, really easy to dissolve. Number 10, high flow means something totally different to everybody. Yeah, so the mistake here is not adding your dosing solutions to a high flow area. Some are like, well, you know, the baffles between my, my uh, skimmer chamber and my return pump chamber are high flow, I think, or my return pump chamber is high flow. Well, you know, there is an easy solution too. Yeah, so if you look at it and it drops in there, makes a little poof and the poof just kind of hangs, that is not high flow. <laughs> it should dissipate like almost immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, because what you're doing is, you know, increasing the alkalinity of the water when I add that dose. So mm. I'm probably going from an alkalinity of, let's say, 9 to 90. In that spot. Right, when I'm pouring it in. Mm -hmm. Even if it's dissipating fast, I'm creating 90. It can create some precipitation in that event. So really what you want to do is pour it like right into a power head. So get a relatively inexpensive power head. I often use uh, Corellias or something. Mm -hmm. I put them right into wherever I want the dose to go in my sump. And as soon as they drop in the tank, they get sucked right in there and it disperses throughout the sump. You can do it right in the tank as well. But high flow in this case means high flow. I want to see it disperse immediately to avoid any precipitation. Number 11, Sometimes there's a value trifecta. Yeah, so the mistake here is not realizing that this is not only cheaper because we did an investigates on it, but it's actually far better as well. Yeah, so pharmaceutical grade. Yeah. And uh, you can go and watch it. We did uh, all of the ICP testing and all of it, uh, that ICP MS testing, which is a little deeper than the you know, hobby usually mm -hmm. uses. Uh, you can see that not only is it cheaper, but it's better. But the value trifecta, when it comes in and it's like actually got all the things that you want, uh, more, yeah. better, and less, and that's the AKC. And so when we added in the trace elements using the, like partnering with Tropic Marin to produce that, all of a sudden, it's more, better, less. All right, so if there's only one thing you heard today, let it be this. Yeah, for me, it's we have these resealable bags for a purpose, so reseal them so that way you don't get moisture in the bag. Yeah, and for me, it's consider that hybrid method from Tropic Marin. You can see a video about it right here, and if you want to learn more about all the BRS PharmaChems, you can do it right here.